Hey everyone, Richard Gibbons MLS Director for Southwest MLS, and I'm a time saving tip for you today. Today I want to cover some RPR basics. So the way you get into RPR is it just right here in Flex under Menu. If you scroll down underneath Products, you can just click on RPR. It should bring you straight in. And once that loads, it has just a very simple interface. And I'm going to show you two things today. I'm going to show you looking at a property, and I'm going to show you running a report on that property. So just looking at a property, we're going to go right here under the, under the location, and I'm just going to search for my house, just like I usually do in my videos. Um, and it brings up a bunch of information on the property. Uh, so just right here on this very first page, you have all your basic information about the property. You got some property facts, exterior interior features, legal description, some schools information that pulls from NISH. Uh, down here, you even have your public record history. You have your deeds, mortgage, tax history, all right there. Sales and financing activity, and then estimated value. Uh, across here at the top, you also have a uh, neighborhood. There's a CMA tab. Uh, and the first time you go there, it'll actually can, it'll walk you through how to do a CMA on a property. You can just confirm the facts, search for comps, make adjustments. Um, and then the, and here's like a webinar popping up where they show you a CMA, a CMA soon too. Under neighborhood, tons of information there about the neighborhood the, the home is in. You know, you got market trends, you have housing, people, or economy, or quality of life information. Just tons of information right here available in RPR. And all I had to do was just search for the property and it came right up. Um, another thing that RPR is great for is right up here in the top, you have reports. And if you come under reports here and you click on this one called seller's report, the only thing you have to do is again, put the address in or it'll remember the one you just searched for. Make sure you click on seller's report and then scroll down to the bottom here and hit run report. It takes about two minutes. I've already ran one. Uh, so this is the report that comes up on, uh, for this, for my house. When it's done, it'll get ding and a little drop down comes down. You click on that and it opens a report for you. And this is a 71 page report <laughs> that all I did is, is enter the address and hit run report and it does this for me. So this is just a, it's a really great way to get a ton of information in your seller's hands very quickly. And you know, it has your, it has this automated valuation here. So of course, automated valuations, they work great in an area like mine where most of the houses nearby are relatively similar. North Valley, where you have a million dollar home across the street from a trailer, maybe not the best automated valuation model place. So use professional discretion there as usual. Uh, but then, you know, it has a lot of that same information we were just talking about. It has the photos from the last time the home was on the MLS. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit more here, you get into some market information, like you have median estimated home value versus median listing price, for example, over time. Uh, you have listing inventory, price per bedroom of comps sold, and so on and so forth. And then you scroll down even a little bit more, and then it, it, it pulls some comps for you. So you can see here, recent market activity, it's got, uh, it's got eight that are for sale, eight pending sales, and then eight closed for us as well. And then if you scroll down, it actually has all those. So here's the active listings currently, there's the eight actives, and then it has one page for each one of those actives. And then it'll go into the pendings, and it has the list of all the pendings, and then the one page for each one of the pendings. Uh, so, so again, just real quick and easy, um, kind of a CMA slash seller's report for you that just gives you a whole lot of information, which is a couple a couple button clicks. So that's RPR for you. As always, if you have any questions, give us a call down here at the bottom, 505-843-8833 or support at swmls.com. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.